Guten Tag und willkommen zu PA Dutch 101. This is video two in our series on learning Pennsylvania Dutch, and today we'll be dealing with greetings and introductions, or as we say in Dutch, Grüße und Bekanntmachungen. So let's get started. When first learning a language, one of the things that you want to definitely be able to do is say hello to somebody when you meet them on the street. So these are all ways of saying hello in Pennsylvania Dutch depending on the time of day. The first one, Gouda dog, which is a way of saying hello or good day. Again, Gouda dog, Gouda dog. If it's in the morning and you want to say good morning to someone in Dutch, we say Gouda Maria. Gouda, Maria. Once more, Gouda, Maria. Good afternoon, if that's the time of day. Almost the same, a little bit different though. Gouda, Nummi dog. Gouda, Nummi dog. Gouda, Nummi dog. And good evening. Gouda, Ovid. Gouda, Ovid. Once more. Gouda, Ovid. And then finally, good night. Goody, Nacht. Goody, Nacht. Goody, Nacht. Now, for right now, don't worry why that one is Guti and the rest are all Gouda. We'll talk about that in a future video. For right now, just know that those are what you say for those situations. So, five ways of saying hello. Gouda, dog. Gouda, Maria. Gouda, Nomi dog. Gouda, Ovid. And Goody, Nacht. Now, when you're leaving, we have other phrases, of course. So, the most common way of saying goodbye to someone is Mach's gut. Mach's gut. Mach's gut. It's what you'll almost always hear a Pennsylvania Dutchman say when they're saying goodbye. We do have another phrase that's used as well. It's a little bit longer. Literally translates as see you later. In Dutch it's Sein dich später. Sein dich später. Sein dich später. So the two ways of saying goodbye. Mach's gut or Sein dich später. So now you're able to say hello and goodbye in Pennsylvania Dutch. So you've gotten a conversation with someone and you've already said hello. Now what comes next? Well, you want to introduce yourself or mach dich bekannt, as we say in Dutch. So what things might you want to say? Like, what is your name or talking about who you are? So let's do that. When asking someone what their name is, we use the phrase in Dutch, was is die Name? Was is die Name? Was is die Name? is the question that we ask. And your response to that, and similar to the English word order, my name is, my name is Doug. Fill in the blank, of course. My name is Doug. My name is Doug. We can also then throw in your last name, or as we say in Dutch, familia name. Familia Norma, familia norma. So we can ask someone what their last name is, but instead of saying "was ist dein Name," we could say "was ist dein familia Norma? Was ist dein familia Norma? What is your last name? And your response would be the same way. Instead of saying "my Norma is," you would just say "my familia Norma is Maidenford." What if you want to talk about somebody else that's in the conversation, third person, so to speak, what is his name or her name? Here are the possibilities in Dutch. When talking to him, what is his name? Was is sy name? 
Was ist sein Name? And if you're talking about a girl or a woman, was ist ihr Name? Was ist ihr Name? So either was ist sein Name or was ist ihr Name? And when responding to that question, it's going to be similar to what we said earlier, but this time we're going to say his name is or her name is for his name. Sein Name is Jake or ihr Name is Becky. For example, sein Name ist Jake, ihr Name ist Becky. We could also then ask the question, who is that? In Dutch, wer ist Sel? Wer ist Sel? Wer ist Sel? And we can respond to that by saying, oh, that is Jake, for example, Sel is Jake. Or Sel is Becky. Okay? So when talking about asking names and so forth, here are what you should know in Pennsylvania Dutch. Again, what is your name? Was ist dein Name? My Name is Doug. Familie Name. Was ist sein Name? Was ist ihr Name? Sein Name is Jake. Ihr Name is J Becky. Where is Cell? Cell is Jake. Okay? Now, we've said hello. We've asked how someone's, uh, we asked what their name was. We've introduced ourselves. If my name is such and such. The next thing we want to ask in our conversation is ask someone how it's going. Or as we say in Dutch, we bished. Okay? The most common way of asking someone how things are going or how they're doing is the question, we bished. Du. We bisht du. We bisht du. There are many ways of answering this depending on how you're feeling. I've come up with about five or six different answers and we'll practice those. So you're doing well. Ich bin gut. Ich bin gut. Ich bin gut. Or the opposite. Ich bin schlecht. Ich bin schlecht. Ich bin schlecht. I'm not doing well. I'm doing pretty well. We can add one word and it changes the meaning. Ich bin ziemlich gut. Ich bin ziemlich gut. Ich bin ziemlich gut. Or, I'm not doing very well. Ich bin ziemlich schlecht. Ich bin ziemlich schlecht. Ich bin ziemlich schlecht. And we could replace the word ziemlich with arig. Arig, which is the word for very. So if we want to say, I am very well. Ich bin arig gut. Ich bin arig schlecht. I'm doing very badly. Okay? So, in this video so far we've covered saying hello, asking someone their name, telling someone their name, and then asking how someone's doing. So, let's practice a little bit. Ewing. I'll ask it, give you a minute or so to think about it, and then we'll test. So. If you ran into someone in Pennsylvania Dutch and you wanted to say good morning, what would you say? The correct answer is Guder Maria. Guder Maria. What if you wanted to tell someone that you will see them later? You want to say goodbye to someone. Literally, you should say, if you're going to say see them later, sehen dich später. Sehen dich später. Of course, you could always use the phrase max gut, which is another way of saying goodbye. How do you ask someone their name in Pennsylvania Dutch? Remember? Was ist dein Name? Was ist dein Name? 
and you want to tell someone your name. Remember how to do that? My name is Doug. My name is Doug. And how do you ask someone how they're doing in Pennsylvania Dutch? Remember? Two words. We bisht. Or you could say, we bisht do. Either one works. We bisht or we bisht do. And then finally, tell someone that you're doing pretty well. Pretty well, not just doing well. Remember that one? Ich bin ziemlich gut. Ich bin ziemlich gut. Ich bin ziemlich gut. Okay? That's all for this video. Again, practice. Practice saying hello. Practice asking someone their name. Practice saying your name. Throw in your last name there. Mix it up a little bit. Ask someone how they're doing. Practice saying how you're doing. Okay? And then say goodbye. We'll move on in video three, but for this point, bis die nächste video, mach's gut und schwätz Deutsch. And if you need to, there's the email address again. I welcome any comments or questions that you have. Mach's gut!